I've been watching Gary V. Who are you scared to fail in front of? The reason so many of you are not doing what you want to do is you're scared. And he tells you that you shouldn't view things with trepidation or fear. You should be excited about them. So I'm excited, honestly, about going to China and teaching 140 kids. A year ago, I was in the pub with one of my oldest friends and he teaches in China at a university. And I said to him, hey, wouldn't it be cool if I came out there and joined you and maybe I could teach a bit of film or TV? He's called my bluff and I'm going out to Henan University, which is not in Shanghai, it's not in Beijing. It's apparently it's a very gritty metropolis and there's a lot of banana skins waiting for me. Banana skin number one, the class sizes. I am gonna be teaching 140 students in a go, which the most I've ever taught is 30 at one of the London film schools. Banana skin two, the majority of them do not speak English. There is a high possibility, as that movie said, What we've got here is failure to communicate. Number three, everything hinges on my translator teaching assistant. She translates everything that I teach. How that's going to affect the flow of my teaching, the mind boggles. If you're writing a movie or directing a movie or giving a class, your number one objective is to keep people engaged and if they're tuning out, if they're on their phones, apparently some of these classes, they go to sleep. Anyone? Anyone? Did it work? Anyone? Anyone know the effects? Anyone know what this says? You know the dribblage? No, we don't want any dribblage. I don't think my ego could deal with dribblage. On the revenue curve, you will get exactly the same amount of revenue. It's taken me two weeks to create this course. So rather than try and teach them the whole form of television in three weeks, I'm just zeroing in on one or two key aspects, like drama, TV, obviously, which is my background in television, and music videos. I think I might have been a bit over ambitious in some of my planning. There is a filming aspect. I'm gonna try and teach them to film with their iPhones. That this is now the television, and the television is now the radio. Could they shoot a music video in a day? I mean, that would be the ultimate Mission Impossible. Very overcast, lovely light coming in here, very Blade Runner. I'm feeling a little bit ropey, I have to say, and the jet lag is savage. I had a couple of hours sleep, but I pulled myself out of bed. Yeah, definitely lost in translation. Gunpowder clouds over there. Going out to meet Finnegan, who was at my school, he's actually a commercials and documentary filmmaker. He wants to make his first movie and we've been talking about a couple of things. So he's going to take me out uh, to Shanghai. Tomorrow morning I'm getting an early morning plane to Zhenzhou, so I can't afford to paint the town red. That's fine. Bring it down, bring it down. That's perfect. So Finn, if you could direct one movie, what would it be? Oh God, you can't ask me that just on the fly. Yes! Though. What would it be, Finn? What would it be? The movie that's already been made? Yes. Then there would probably have to be Butch Cassidy and the Sundance. Kit. Is that the one? Yeah, I think so. Is it the ending or is it the beginning for you? For a moment I thought we were in trouble. Are you aware they die at the end? I am aware they die. Are you asking me what's the hook? It's the subtlety of that bond wow. against all odds. They know they're running away from an inevitable losing cause. Right from the beginning. Right from the beginning? Right from the beginning, really. Right from that opening scene, he knows. He walks into that bank and he said, what happened to the old bank? <laughs> the guy said that people kept robbing it. And he says, small price but to pay for beauty. <laughs> right, Ben, how are you framing that? Come on, come on, right? Higher. Higher than yeah, the trees. There you go. There you go. On the line, Joe. Right. 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 There's another light flare. Oh. There's so much road. Oh, mate, you did that well, mate. Are you a director or what? There we go. He's creeping down, mate. He keeps getting too much broken. Too much. Oh, mate, I love it. Oh, mate, this is the master class in camera work. I should bring you to my classes, mate. Hello, Mr. Finnegan. 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 Hello, Mr. Finnegan.
过去呢？就好，你就好。Let me see what you've got. Let's have a look at that. Really good. Long shot. What? Is it? I shoot. Yeah, you film. You film. Medium shot. Extreme. Can I try to work? Five, four, three. Long shot, close up. Okay. Okay. Hey, I've been too long. They've given me this garland, which is fantastic, which I absolutely love. Guys, come this side and shoot on the dark side. It's more dramatic, yeah? Action! Excellent. Well done. Round of applause. How good the food is for basically about a dollar. You get a massive bowl of soup, of noodles. I'm with my friend here, Lucian, who directed a magnificent music video. <laughs> what are we eating? We have rice with yes. fish and uh, noodles. Yes. Brilliant. 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 Let's have a look there. The key light is the main light. That's the key light. That's the back light. And this is the filler. Okay? 15 minutes. Keep going. Jai Yong. Jai Yong. Jai Yong. Jai Yong. What? Jai Yong. Again? Jai Yong. I can't say it. of this whole course but is it really is it the end game to score marks or is the end game to learn and to create that question I think will stay with us for quite some time this is 140 exams okay. maximum maximum okay genius um Really pleased with how this whole thing has gone. I like the movie. Yeah, I'm very, very um, like the movie. Okay, yeah. well, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the one. It's the whole story in one picture. Yeah, okay. I hope this is not the end of our friendship, but the beginning. Uh, 觉得这不应该是就是我们友谊的结束，而是一点开始。So now I'm going to show you how I feel about you, but the best thing is it's your video.
And I just got an email. There's a manager in Hollywood who wants to represent me. Yeah, it's a surreal world. Anyway. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. That's very kind. She just, bye bye. Bye bye. She just bought me a lovely. She's just bought me. That lovely Hi. ladies. Hi. Hi. Oh, look, we've got some more friends here. Hello. So, your, your name is? Uh, Li Xinbei. Li Xinbei. And? Uh, Cao Gao Yuan. Okay. Thank you. Thank mm. you. I love being here. I love your university. I so. love you. I love you. <laughs> thank you. I'll take that. Thank you. Have a good day. So, the takeaway today is there's nothing that beats being appreciated. One shouldn't crave everyone's adulation, but when you work hard and it's appreciated, there's no better feeling in the world. Oh, cheers from script fella. I came to China full of fear. Banana skin number one, the class sizes. The majority of them do not speak English. Fears that were totally unfounded. What an experience, what a trip.